As part of their 2021 virtual winter programming, the Ohio State University Extension Beef Team was privileged to host University of Kentucky Livestock Marketing Specialist Kenny Burdine via Zoom on March 26th. In this four-minute segment from that presentation, Burdine details the value of a short, defined calving season and the impact calf numbers have on calf values. Late calving cows cost us a lot. And I want to make one quick point here that I think oftentimes gets overlooked. We oftentimes talk about late calving cows in the, in, the, in the way that we think about, okay, every cycle that I miss is 21 days. Those calves are younger at weaning time, so I give up 40 pound lean. And that's absolutely true. Now, I'm probably am giving up 30 or 40 pounds of revenue for every cycle that I miss getting the cow bred because those, those, those younger, later born calves are smaller, period. That makes sense. The other piece of this, though, that I think gets lost sometimes is this one right here. This is probably the most important chart that I'm going to show you tonight. Some work that Greg Hallich and I did back in 2015. We did an analysis of um, precondition feeder cattle sales from Lexington from 2005 to 2012. We held everything constant statistically, including fed cattle market, corn price, type of the cattle, type of cattle, when they were sold, weight. And all I'm showing you here is just two things, okay? The y-axis is the price improvement or price premium, a okay, price difference. And the x-axis is how many calves sold in one group. And each one of these circles is five. Okay, so here's a group of five, group of 10, 15, 20, and so on. Now, somewhere up in here is a truckload lot. And we all know that if we could all sell truckload lots, we would. That's the most efficient way to sell cattle. Price tends to be highest. When I talk to a cow calf audience like I am tonight, though, I want to focus you on the other end of the chart. I want to focus you right down here because this is where the action is. Okay. So, for example, this is a single. This is a group of five. Okay. Will a group of five outsell a single? The answer is yes. In this study, by about 11 bucks a hundred weight. This isn't a pot load, folks. This is this is a group of this group of five. Okay. Will a group of 10 outsell a five? Yeah, by about four bucks a hundred weight. Okay, so most of us are not big enough to be up here on this end of the chart. The story is I've got to stay out of this end of the chart. Now, how does this relate to calving season? Well, it's very simple. Those cows that are straggler cows, in addition to the fact that those calves are lighter. At weaning time, there's also going to be fewer of them, which means they're going to be selling more along the left side of this chart in smaller groups. And when I account for both the loss in weaning weight and the fact that more of those smaller calves get sold as singles, twos, and threes, I think the cost can exceed $150 per calf sold for some of those cows that don't get bred on the first two or three cycles. So I'm a big believer in calving season. And frankly, although it's hard to do sometimes, Culling is your best tool to get there. You've got to make this a culling criteria because it's folks, it's hard to back cows up. If she didn't breed the third or fourth cycle in 2020, she ain't going to breed first cycle in 2021, right? So I got to make some tough decisions and I've got to make some culling based on that. Make that a criteria and part of the cow's job. 